Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, I wonder if I'm about to put the commentator's curse on them by mentioning this, but Liverpool lead the league in terms of goals scored. Well, away from home, their ability to create chances and score goals has been fantastic. But it's the speed of their counter-attack that's been key to their success. They've been unstoppable at times this season. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is Roberto Firmino. And attempting the through ball. Something to worry about here. Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target. Disadvantage Liverpool here. Moving it forward. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Target. He's got to score! A goal! Real excitement! A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Henderson. Sadio Mane. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly, and he times it perfectly. Gazi and the referee has pointed to the spot he's given the penalty and now let's see if they can level it up well some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card well I like that from the referee just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card I think he's got it right and now to level the game and there it. 
Well, let's take another look because this is how to take a penalty. He strikes it with such confidence and composure. It's a brilliant penalty. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Opportunity and a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. It's with Fabinho. And having already received a yellow card, he's walking a very fine line. And his race is run. Yeah, he just lost his discipline there. That's a really poor challenge. He should have been taken off much earlier. Alexander Arnold. Can he put it away? And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, I have to say, that's a good finish. He knew exactly what he wanted to do there. He's just passed it into the corner. That's a nice goal. The sound of the referee's whistle, this match is in the history books and it goes down as a Liverpool victory. Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.